there, I wanted to show you something else that you could do with the types of leaf veins that we were talking about on the first day. So with the first years, what we did was we made a bar graph of the different types of leaves. And this is something else that you can do if you're feeling like the bar graph is difficult or if you just need something else to, to do for your work time and to practice work. So first, let's go ahead and review the three types of leaf veins. We have parallel, pinnate, and palmy. And remember, parallel, just like parallel lines in geometry, if you have parallel lines, they're right next to each other, they're the same distance away from each other, they never touch. Now, this isn't true for parallel veins, they do touch at the base of the leaf. So let's say this is our leaf. They touch down here, but then they never touch again. They just run up side by side from each other, like that. For pinnate, pinnate comes from the word feather. So we have one, just one main vein, one big vein. And then there's other veins that come off of that one. So then it ends up looking like a feather. For palmate, there's more than one main vein and they all start at the base. So there's probably gonna be one in the middle, but there's gonna be a couple of others that straddle it. And then unlike the parallel veins, there's veins that come off of each of those main veins. Okay. They don't all need to be shaped like this. They could be shaped differently. So let's look at some. Here we have parallel veins. You can see that. This is a ginkgo leaf. And all of those veins start here at the base. And then they all run alongside each other. And that's not shaped like that one at all. Be shaped more like a fan. So see how different that is? So don't always just be looking for that and think that they have to look like an almond shape, okay? All right, so this one, this one is pinnate and it's very jaggedy around the edges, but do you see the main vein running down the middle? It's right here and there's other veins coming off of it. That's pinnate. This one is palmate. It has lots of deep, heavy veins that come from the center and then other small veins that come off of those. Let's see if you can see those really, they're very light green. Those are all of the main veins. And then there's little tiny veins that come off of those. So that's palmate. And palmate, if you think of your palm, think that it had, you have lots of fingers. It's the same with palmate leaves. They have lots of veins, not just the one vein. So an outstretched hand. Okay. Can you guess what type of vein this one has? Parallel. These are parallel. How about this one? Yes, pinnate. There's only one main vein. How about this one? This one's tough. I would say it's palmate. It's got this one main vein in the middle and then it also has some other main veins coming out of the base with it, with little veins coming off of it. I could see why someone might think it's pinnate though. And if you decided to put it in the pinnate pile, that's okay too, as long as you can explain why you decided that. But this one, let me uncover the base so you can see. Yeah, 
pinnate, just that one main vein. Yes, palmate. It's got three main veins coming from the base. Let's look at it on the other side. Sometimes flipping it upside down can be really helpful because those veins can be protruding more from the other side. Yeah, palmate. Yes, pinnate. We have lots of pinnate. This is a blade of grass. Did you know that grass are a bunch of leaves? So this is parallel. Yes, pinnate. Yes, pinnate. Well, this is a big one. that main one here and then we've got two other main ones so I'm gonna say palmate it's a lot like this one over here palmates have a lot of big ones and pinnate pinnate seems to have had the most okay so what you could do So something that you could do for the work, like I said, is a bar graph. This is in the math book. So I went over one square and I drew a line, not all the way down. I left a little space at the bottom and I drew a line over this way. So it's like an L. And the corner is zero. So the line above that is one, two, three, four, and so on, numbering all the way up. Got a, I ended up at 21. And then I put parallel, pinnate, and palmate down here. So let's see. We ended up with four palmate. So there's already two colored in. One, two, three, four. And you could use a colored pencil. Okay. Yep, that lines up with the four over here. How many pinnate did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we have three parallel. One, two, I only need to add one more. Three parallel. Another thing you could do is some leaf rubbing. So this is going to be my pinnate page. I'm gonna make a book of leaf veins. So these, this is gonna be my pinnate page. This is just some copy paper. Um, you can get it from your printer or you can use the little squares that were sent home in your packet. So in your colored pencil bag, You've got some crayons, um, and most of them should be unwrapped for you already. You're gonna use them flat. You're not gonna use the tip. You're gonna hold it flat with the long side against the paper. So you'll put a leaf underneath your paper, and you might need to hold on to, press down through the paper onto the leaf so it doesn't move. And then you're gonna use that flat side against the leaf. Okay, so now I'm gonna move my finger to another part of the leaf so I can get the bottom part. Okay, and look, my leaf showed up. Can you see it? Yeah, oh, it's stuck to the bottom of the page. Let's try another one. We're just doing the pinnate ones right now. And you have other colors. There should be three crayons that you can use in your pencil bag. And if you have other crayons at home, you can use those. Just take the paper off and use the flat side. So I'm holding onto the stem through the paper so it doesn't move. Oh, this one's showing up really nicely. That one looks really nice. 
Let's do one more. Let's do this one because it has an interesting shape on the outside. You could certainly do all of the leaves on this page. I'm just gonna show you three though. You could do different colors. They could each be a different color. There we go. Okay. So that's my pinnate page. Then I would do two more pages, one for palmate and one for parallel. And you could also make a cover for your book that says leaf veins by, and your name. So mine could say leaf veins by Sarah Grace. So those are things that you can do with the collection of leaves. And remember, you can put your leaves between the pages of a heavy book and leave them there for about a week and they should dry out. And you can go back and look at them after you're done and they'll be nice and flat and dry. We can do some other things with those. Okay, have fun.